The moment space enthusiasts worldwide have been waiting for has arrived. After months of meticulous preparation and learning from past challenges, Elon Musk has given the final go-ahead for Starship Flight 8, set to launch today from SpaceX's bustling Starbase in Texas. This isn't just another launch, it's the culmination of countless engineering hours, revolutionary design improvements, and bold ambition. Ship 34 and Booster 15 stand ready on the launch pad, representing the most advanced iteration of Starship to date. The road to this moment hasn't been smooth. Following January's Flight 7 failure, when a mid-flight fire caused by propulsion system pressure issues led to an explosion, SpaceX engineers went back to the drawing board. They've completely redesigned critical components, strengthening the propulsion system, modifying the forward flaps to prevent overheating, and enhancing the avionics for greater reliability. Flight 8 stands out for its truly groundbreaking objectives. SpaceX will conduct a critical test of the separation between Super Heavy Booster and Starship while also deploying four Starlink simulator satellites. The mission includes the first in-space relight test of the Raptor engine, a crucial capability for future Moon and Mars missions. Perhaps most dramatic of all, the Super Heavy Booster will attempt something never achieved in rocketry history, a mid-air catch by the mechanical arms of the launch tower. This daring maneuver, if successful, would revolutionize how we recover and reuse rockets. As SpaceX inches closer to Musk's vision of making humanity multiplanetary, with plans for uncrewed Mars missions as early as 2026, today's launch represents more than a test. It's a glimpse into our interplanetary future. Even if not everything goes according to plan, the data gathered will prove invaluable for refining future iterations of humanity's most powerful spacecraft. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The tension at Starbase is palpable today. Engineers move with purpose across the launch facility, their faces showing determination and nervous energy. This isn't just another day at SpaceX, it's the culmination of months of redesign following January's Flight 7 setback. For those who watched Flight 7's dramatic mid-air explosion, the memory remains fresh. What began as a promising test quickly turned into a spectacular fireball as excess pressure in the propulsion system sparked a cascading failure. The investigation that followed brought together teams from the FAA, NASA, the National Transportation Safety Board, and the U.S. Space Force. What they discovered was revealing. Extreme vibrations had placed unexpected stress on the vehicle structure, creating micro-fractures that led to propellant leaks. When those leaks encountered hot engine components, the result was catastrophic. But today, standing tall on orbital launch Mount A is an entirely different beast. Ship 34 and Booster 15 incorporate dozens of critical modifications designed to address these vulnerabilities. The avionics system has been completely overhauled. The forward flaps now feature enhanced thermal shielding, and the propulsion system itself has been meticulously redesigned with reinforced plumbing and improved seals. Booster 15 underwent cryogenic testing on December 29, 2024, followed by a static fire test on February 9, 2025. Ship 34 completed similar tests in January and February before both components were stacked together on March 2nd. The FAA granted the necessary launch license on February 26th, clearing the final regulatory hurdle for today's flight. What makes Flight 8 truly extraordinary isn't just the engineering behind it, but what SpaceX plans to accomplish during its journey. Unlike conventional rockets designed primarily to deliver payloads to orbit, Starship represents something more ambitious, a fully reusable transportation system designed to open the solar system to human exploration. Today's test focuses on four critical objectives. First is the separation of the Super Heavy Booster from Starship itself, a maneuver involving two massive vehicles traveling at hypersonic speeds. Next comes the deployment of four Starlink simulator satellites, validating Starship's capability as a launch platform while testing new deployment mechanisms. Perhaps most technically challenging is the in-space relight test of the Raptor engine. Unlike conventional rocket engines designed for a single burn, Starship's Raptors must be capable of multiple ignitions in space, a prerequisite for complex maneuvers like landing on the Moon or Mars. But it's the final objective that has space enthusiasts worldwide holding their breath. 
the attempted catch of the Super Heavy booster. Unlike SpaceX's Falcon 9 boosters that land on dedicated pads, Super Heavy will attempt something never before accomplished, a controlled return to the launch site where it will be caught in midair by the mechanical arms of Mechazilla, the massive launch tower at Starbase. The physics involved are mind-boggling, explains Dr. Emily Chen, an aerospace engineer. You're essentially trying to thread a needle with a 230-foot tall object traveling at hundreds of miles per hour. The precision required is extraordinary. If successful, this catch mechanism would revolutionize rocket reusability, potentially allowing boosters to be prepared for reflight in hours rather than days or weeks, dramatically reducing the cost of access to space and bringing Musk's Mars ambitions closer to reality. The launch sequence begins hours before liftoff as propellant loading operations commence. At T-3 minutes, Starship switches to internal power, and the vehicle's computers take full control of the countdown. When the countdown reaches zero, all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster ignite, building to over 16 million pounds of thrust. For the first few seconds, Starship remains secured to the launch mount as the engines stabilize. Then if all parameters look good, the hold-down clamps release, and humanity's largest rocket begins its climb toward space. The next two and a half minutes are critical as Super Heavy burns through its propellant, accelerating Starship to nearly 2,500 miles per hour. At an altitude of approximately 40 miles, stage separation occurs. Ship 34 immediately ignites its own Raptor engines to continue the journey to orbit, while Booster 15 begins its complex return, the booster's return flight involves a boost-back burn that reverses its horizontal velocity, followed by an entry burn that slows its descent. Finally comes the landing burn and the unprecedented catch attempt by the tower's mechanical arms, all occurring approximately six minutes after liftoff. Meanwhile, Ship 34 continues accelerating, reaching orbital velocity approximately 8.5 minutes after launch. Once in orbit, the crew will conduct the Raptor engine shutdown and restart test, followed by satellite deployment. After approximately 90 minutes in orbit, Ship 34 will perform a deorbit burn, re-entering Earth's atmosphere before executing a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Every second of this flight provides invaluable data, says Maria Rodriguez, a propulsion specialist. Even if not every objective is met, the telemetry received will drive the next iteration of improvements. Throughout today's preparations, Elon Musk has been active on social media. On February 24th, he posted to X, the way Starship flies Friday, before attaching a launch simulation. When last-minute issues forced rescheduling to March 3rd, Musk remained optimistic. Minor setbacks for major comebacks. Flight 8 hardware is the best yet. For Musk, Starship represents the culmination of a 20-year obsession with making humanity multiplanetary. According to his timeline, the first uncrewed Starships could reach Mars during the 2026 launch window, with crewed missions potentially following by 2028. His ultimate vision, a self-sustaining city of a million people on Mars within two decades, depends entirely on Starship proving itself as a reliable spacecraft. While today's Starship launch captures headlines, it represents just one facet of an unprecedented renaissance in space exploration. Recently, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lander, which is currently in lunar orbit preparing for landing. On February 18th, the spacecraft captured remarkable images of the lunar far side, the hemisphere perpetually hidden from Earth but perhaps more groundbreaking was its detection of Earth's GPS signals from lunar orbit, a technological feat that could revolutionize deep space navigation. This is a game changer, explains Dr. Samantha Williams, a navigation specialist. GPS was never designed to work beyond Earth orbit. The fact that Blue Ghost could detect these signals at lunar distances opens up entirely new possibilities for autonomous spacecraft navigation. While companies like SpaceX continue pushing boundaries, Boeing faces a significant crisis with its troubled Starliner spacecraft. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore launched to the International Space Station aboard Starliner in June 2024, intending to return after one week. However, after docking, 
engineers discovered serious technical problems, including thruster failures and helium leaks. NASA made the unprecedented decision to deem Starliner unsafe for human return, effectively stranding Williams and Wilmore on the ISS for over eight months. Plans for their return now involve SpaceX's Crew Dragon vehicle. For Boeing, the financial implications are severe. In 2024 alone, the company reported losses of $523 million on the Starliner program, bringing total losses to over $2 billion. The situation has become so dire that Boeing is reportedly considering shutting down the program entirely. As we await the final countdown for Starship Flight 8, it's worth considering the broader implications. This isn't merely about SpaceX's commercial ambitions. It represents a pivotal moment in humanity's relationship with space. For 50 years, access to space has remained remarkably similar to the Apollo era. Expensive, limited, and primarily governmental. Starship aims to completely rewrite that paradigm, with its massive payload capacity and target launch costs potentially orders of magnitude lower than current options. The analogy I often use is the Transcontinental Railroad, explains space policy expert Dr. James Morrison. Before its completion, crossing North America was expensive, dangerous, and limited to the adventurous few. The railroad didn't just make the journey easier, it fundamentally transformed the continent's economy and society. Starship has the potential to do the same for space. The implications extend beyond Mars colonies. Economical access to space could accelerate research in microgravity manufacturing, potentially revolutionizing everything from pharmaceutical development to semiconductor production. Large-scale space-based solar power could help address Earth's energy challenges. Even space tourism could eventually become accessible to ordinary citizens. NASA has already contracted with SpaceX to use a modified Starship as the human landing system for the Artemis program. If Starship achieves even half of what Musk envisions, it changes everything for everyone in the industry, says aerospace analyst Michael Torres. As we await word from SpaceX mission control on the official start of the livestream, the significance of today's test continues to resonate. For Musk and the thousands of staff who have dedicated years to this project, today represents a critical milestone in an odyssey that began with a simple question, how do we make life multiplanetary? The answer, towering 394 feet above the Texas coast, is ready for its next great leap forward. Success or failure, the data gathered today will inform the next iteration, each one bringing humanity closer to the stars. For those watching around the world, this is more than just another rocket launch. It's a glimpse into a future where humanity's reach extends beyond our home planet. The clouds have cleared over Starbase, the winds are cooperating, and in mission control, final checks are underway. As the final minutes tick away, one thing is certain. Whatever happens today, the pursuit of Musk's multiplanetary vision continues. The road to Mars remains challenging, but with each Starship test, that road becomes a little more defined, a little more real. In the words of one SpaceX engineer, when you're trying to do something that's never been done before, setbacks aren't failures, they're waypoints on the journey. Today isn't about perfect execution, it's about learning, adapting, and moving forward. That spirit of relentless innovation has defined SpaceX from its founding. Today, as Starship Flight 8 prepares to soar, it continues to drive humanity's greatest adventure, the exploration and eventual settlement of worlds beyond our own. As we await the final countdown for this historic launch, one thing remains clear. Today marks not just a test of technology, but a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. What SpaceX accomplishes with Starship reaches far beyond corporate success. It represents our collective journey toward becoming a multi-planetary species. While we've covered the technical challenges of Flight 8, the contrast between SpaceX's rapid innovation and Boeing's Starliner struggles, and their remarkable achievements in lunar exploration, the true significance lies in what these developments mean for our future. Every successful test, every engineering breakthrough, and yes, even every failure that leads to improvement brings us one step closer to extending human presence beyond Earth. The space industry is evolving faster than ever before. From revolutionary navigation techniques using Earth's GPS at lunar distances to ambitious plans for Mars colonization, 
we're witnessing history unfold in real time. As Flight 8 prepares to soar, we invite you to be part of this journey with us. If you found this breakdown valuable, please hit that like button and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Your comments fuel our discussions. Let us know what aspect of today's launch you're most excited about or what space developments you'd like us to cover next. Subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for continuous updates on Starship's progress and all the latest developments across space exploration and technology. Until next time, keep looking up. The future is being written in the skies above us.